I'm Amanda Mahoney to do a review, a review of a nutrient product rather than a skincare product, but of course it directly relates to skincare. And this product is Skin B5 and it's Acne Control Extra Strength Tablets. Now I came across this product by chance and I'm really glad that I did because it's excellent. It's got some good clinical research behind it and some great testimonials, which means that it's working when people are taking it. It's working so well that they're actually coming back to tell you all about it. Okay, so Acne Control Extra Strength Tablets are basically tablets that are really high in B5, plus some other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'll first read the ingredients, and then I'm going to talk about each ingredient and why it's relevant to acne control in particular, but also excellent for oily skin, skin renewal, and skin repair. So first of all, it's got calcium pantothenate, which is essentially vitamin B5, it's 500 milligrams, zinc gluconate, which is equivalent to 5 milligrams of zinc, copper gluconate, equivalent to 250 micrograms of copper, silica, which is 5 milligrams, vitamin A, which is 105 micrograms, small dose, so it's safe for use, and nicotinamide, or vitamin B3, 125 milligrams, folic acid, 80 micrograms, and biotin, 330 micrograms. Those doses are reasonable, but the actual recommended dose is two tablets three times a day. So that's actually six tablets a day. That is a therapeutic dose. So that's the dose that you actually take when you want to get the acne under control, rather than to maintain a healthy level or healthy stage that you're going through. So again, it is a high dose, but a therapeutic dose. Not too much, but enough to get the job done. Okay, so the first and primary ingredient, and probably what the formula is actually based on, is the pantothenic acid, or vitamin B5. Now there is some research around vitamin B5 and some good testimonials, as I said. Vitamin B5 has a couple of important roles when it comes to skin and skin health. It's a precursor for essential fats or fatty acids and lipids, phospholipids, cholesterol, hormones, and neurotransmitters, all which use fat to keep us going. So at high doses, the research is showing that it can decrease pore size and help decrease acne by regulating fat, fats, fatty acids, and hormones. And it does this by coenzyme, a synthesis. And the process in the body or biochemical pathway but by influences and support. But essentially, the body produces androgens when coenzyme A levels and vitamin B5 levels are low. Now the thing about androgens, and if you've done any research and reading about acne, androgens promote sebum and they promote increased fatty acid production, which is excreted via sebum. The more androgens you have in your body, the more oily your skin is going to be due to this excess sebum production. An example of androgen is testosterone. What happens when your skin seems excessively oily and the excessive sebum production is increased bacterial overgrowth on the skin, which can then lead to congestion, block pores, and acne, and the production of acne. So with lower B5 levels, you tend to see people with unbalanced fatty acid levels in their body or distribution in their body, their oily skin and acne breakouts. By increasing their levels of B5, it increases the coenzyme A production and therefore reduces androgens production, and that will reduce testosterone and help balance out the hormones. It will also reduce sebum production, so your skin will become less oily. And indeed, if you read the testimonials of people who have taken good levels of vitamin B5 to manage this, they will say that their skin tends to dry out. And I don't mean dry out as in become dehydrated, I mean reduce at levels of oiliness. So where their skin might have had oil all over it or been excessively oily in the T-zone, their skin tends to go back into balance and become, there, there's no dry patches or oily patches. It becomes normal, normal skin conditions. The other thing you might notice is people with oily scalps or congested scalps, not like dandruff, but when there's a buildup of, um, a little buildup of excess oily scalp material. It's like if you scratch your scalp and, and then you look at your uh, your nails and there's like gunk under it. And that's what I'm talking about. That's an overproduction of oil mixed with dead skin cells. So what happens if people who have or tend to have overly oily skin, they also get um, their scalp being often as well. So they get kind of a buildup of gunk. So you wash your hair and you expect it to go away and it does, but it builds up again or you can use anti-dandruff shampoo, thinking it's dandruff, but it's not. So it just keeps going and keeps going. B5 will actually help reduce that oily scalp and reduce the buildup of gunk. That's my technical term for the day. Let's look at the research. A study done in 1995 had 95 participants. Not a huge study, but a reasonable size to get at least a medical hypothesis and an understanding of how B5 might work. It was used at very high doses and it showed really significant results between one week and one month. 
It also showed increased energy levels and reduction in oiliness and reduction in acne lesions. Now, what I would say that the B5 alone, when you're just looking at B5, it is useful for acne that's associated with oily and congested skin. Now, the mechanism is that there's high androgens, high sebum, and therefore an increased bacterial overgrowth and increased acne. If you don't have that sequence of events, if you've got the skin that's dry with acne, whether it's not due to excess sebum production, so that the B5 may not be of assistance in that case. However, this formula has some other ingredients that might be useful for acne where there is dry skin. It contains zinc, and zinc, of course, is very good for skin healing. It also reduces androgen production as well and supports the digestive system by supporting good hydrochloric acid levels. And what I find commonly is that people with acne that's just chronic and tends not to go away often have digestive issues as well. So if you can support the digestion in any way, you're more likely to support good elimination via the digestive system rather than the skin. It contains copper, nicotinamide, or B3 as I said, and folic acid. And there was a study done looking at acne with those three ingredients. There were 198 patients, and they measured the decrease in inflammation of lesions after four and eight weeks for all those patients. And there were some really good outcomes. I'll just read those out to you. 79% of people reported an increase in appearance, as in their appearance was better or much better. That was 79%. Uh, 55% reported moderate or substantial decrease in acne lesions. And as the trial continued, the increase in the percentage of people that had positive outcomes increased. So basically that means the longer they took the nutrients, the better the results were, and the more people that got results. Interestingly, in this clinical trial, there was one arm of people who just took the nutrients, one arm of people who took nothing at all, and one arm of people who took the nutrients and oral antibiotics. And it showed that there was no increased result or no increased improvement within the nutrients and the oral antibiotics basically showing that the nutrients were doing the job by themselves and didn't need the oral antibiotics to improve the outcome. And I thought that was really, really interesting. And it shows that nutritional supplements and nutritional biochemistry can have a really powerful result without resorting to antibiotics. Silica is another ingredient that promotes skin healing and skin renewal. And vitamin A finally supports skin immunity and has an antibacterial effect due to the fact that it improves skin immunity. So that's that. I've been really impressed with Skin B5. I'll get it up on the screen there. Really impressed with the outcome. Really impressed with the results that people are actually taking these good doses and that their therapeutic outcomes are being very, very positive. Remember, you need at least 48 weeks, four weeks to show signs of good results, and then eight weeks to keep going. And then you go on a maintenance dose. So you wouldn't need to keep taking the high doses. But yes, taking the therapeutic dose is the first place and a good place to start. It's a good idea. Um, also, thank you for listening. Thanks for checking in again. That's Skin B5. And if you look at the bottom there, you can see the purchase Skin B5 tag. You can also see other reviews on organic nutrients for acne, sorry, organic skincare and organic nutrients for skin control. And have a lovely day and I'll talk to you all again soon.